What is happening here? Stan here of time here, presenting you with another Minecraft Vanilla Double Scoop. This episode, I am bringing you a good old-fashioned mining episode. And not the fun kind either. It is not a cave diving episode, although um, <laughs> I won't make you stick around for every second of the strip mining. And the reason I'm strip mining is so adamantly avoiding the granite, right, is... Maybe diorite? I don't remember what that is. Let's look at it. What are you? Boom. Had it right the first time. Uh, I don't need that iron. It's not waste my time on it. The reason I am avoiding everything like that is because what I need is stone. I need stone and I need coal. I'm going to go ahead and get redstone because I could also use some levels. I don't need iron. I have an iron farm for that, which I have not AFK'd on since last episode because this is five minutes since last episode currently. Um, I know I'm doing back to back right now, but I'm about to go home for like six weeks. And I need like four or so episodes to give me some insulation because I know when I go home, I won't want to record because my parents are about to go to Thailand for three weeks and I want to be able to visit with them. And as much as I'll have good intentions intending to record, I won't. Um, no matter how much I want, I will try to anyway. But I know that in the end I'll be like, no, I just want to hang out with my family because I don't see them very often. Um, and it's getting to the point where some of my, where, well, one of my parents is starting to get frequently bad health problems. And it's important to me to spend the time I have with them with them. Nothing like thinking they're going to die anytime soon or anything like that. But um, as someone in the medical profession and knowing the condition that... Um, Okay, my mom is the one. The, knowing the condition that my mom is in, um, I know that um, stuff happens and any second stuff could go a bad direction. And so I want to be there when I have the opportunity. So, um, important life lesson from Caleb. Um, value and cherish your loved ones while they're still here. Um, do not waste the opportunities to be with them, especially when they get in bad health. Make sure you spend time with them before that, too, uh, because you'll regret it otherwise. Um, I regretted not being around as much in the last uh, few months before my grandpa died. The reason for that was I was at college and too busy to come home and see him um, as he got worse. I really was too busy. It wasn't just like me being a jerk and being like, I just can't do it. I was literally never available, and that's also the reason that I quit YouTubing for so long. I just wasn't available. And there was no way I could do it without failing out of school. And um, he seemed like he was doing fine. And then next thing you know, in the course of two days, he was not doing fine. And then that was it. So, But I was sure to tell him I loved him. And he knew before he went. And that is okay. Death is a part of life. It's sad. But it is a part of it. I even had a dream about him the other night. It wasn't really a dream about him. I don't know if it was him, but it was a grandpa and their little daughter, their his little daughter, maybe my grandpa. I don't know if it was my grandpa or not. Um, there was diamonds, by the way. Um, and he was going fishing with a little granddaughter, not his daughter, a granddaughter. And I'm not a granddaughter, but my grandpa used to take me and my brother and my sisters fishing all the time, and it was a sad dream. So, real talk with Caleb. Uh, so, cherish your loved ones while they're still here. I know this episode just got really real. I don't know why. I don't know how that happened. I guess it's good to talk while you're strip mining. Hang on, I'm setting a timer. Um, yeah. Cherish your, your loved ones while they're still here. And that's why I say I'm stocking up a few recordings while I go home. Because while my parents are still there, I want to be able to hang out with them. As well as my sister will be home from college. Because she lives at home um, during the summer right now. Because she's still living in the dorms. Which would, of course, be closed during the year. And so uh, I want to hang out with her as well because she's going to Thailand with them. The only reason I'm not is because I am doing a pharmacy rotation and I'll be unavailable. And I also have some uh, voluntary summer school classes, not because I fail the class, um, but because I simply won't be able to get all my electives done. And nobody takes a elect read takes an elective because they failed it. You just if you fail an elective, you just choose a different one. <laughs> And uh, it's not worth uh, retaking an elective. And uh, I'm taking it at a different school that will be much easier than my normal school. 
because um, it's cheaper. There are summer classes at my normal school, but they're super expensive, and it will be a lot easier. Um, but it will take work, and the class I'm taking is um, mythology, literature, literary mythology. I don't know, mythology and literature or something like that. It's just it's just a mythology class more or less. So I don't actually know what it's about. I assume we're just gonna read a few books on mythology. And there are some good mythology short stories. Don't hate on short stories. They're good and they're short. I like short. I'm not good at reading. I hate reading. <laughs> if you like it, um, that's good. I do read. Like, I mean, I don't like it, but I have read and I read books. And I currently read books just because I want to not be a uh, culturally out of touch person. And I want to be able to read stuff. And I like fantasy books. And I enjoy what I'm reading when I'm reading it, but I don't enjoy the action of reading quite literally and I know that sounds quite pathetic you guys are still watching me because we're talking about stuff and that's okay I know this episode's boring and I know that I'm strip mining right now but my stream I've been streaming on twitch again a lot lately if you'd like to watch that do so my past broadcasts are up there we've been doing factions at my stream they seem okay watching me strip mine they frequently tell me to go mine and you guys know me maybe by now that I prefer to strip mine. Um, I don't like caves because my ADD gets to me when I'm in a cave. And I just want to do everything. Everything I see, I want to I wanna do it. You know what? Let's collect the diamonds we see with Silk Touch. And we'll mine them all at the end. I've already got eight. But uh, we'll go ahead and keep collecting them. we got six right now. So we'll see what we get in the end. I'm going to just get a ton of stone. I mean, I'm going to quit when my pockets get full, and then I'll switch to glowstone for the episode. And then that'll basically be it after that. Um, I'm not going to get a full pocket of glowstone, I don't think. Because um, that'll take a while. And the time isn't really so much why I have all the time in the world today. But it's more of the um, principle of the thing. I'll go ahead and silk touch everything actually. Silk touching right now is actually the best idea because I'll save pocket space. I would like some more diamonds though. I've already gotten a good amount. I can repair some tools. And I'll have the levels to do it too. I'll repair my uh, my one efficiency pickaxe before I go. Hmm. What a great idea, kid. Hmm. Hmm. You know Alright. Alrighty. What the heck? I don't want to mine that stuff because I don't want to waste my pickaxe on it. There's probably diamonds right around the corner. But that's okay. I'd like to blow up something. There is, in ways possibly, some of the sand out in the water is going to interfere with my project. Because there's a lot of shallow ocean water. A lot of like sandbars, you would call them, in real life. Um... That may interfere with my project, and I might blow them up. But I don't know how well blowing stuff up will go when it's in water. So. What I may do is just go down and dig, because most of it's sand. I may just dig under it and plant a bunch of TNT underneath it. I could spawn in, like, a wither boss and have him blow it up, too. But I don't really know. Do you guys have advice for that? How I can get rid of the sand? I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, like where we sail away at the boat in the little pond right beneath, but beneath, right behind the house, um, it has a big sand bar, and even where I built the entrance to the iron farm is a big sand bar. Of course, I'm actually gonna use that one, so I don't want to blow it up. But I am actually gonna shave it down a little bit. There won't be an easy access point like that once I have my home built, because my rail system will. It'll be interesting. My rail system will automatically pick up the iron, so you won't actually need to go over to pick up the iron, basically. But there will still be a way to get in <clears throat> for maintenance and whatnot. So I'm not sure how that will all work quite yet. I've been looking into ideas for it. It'll be pretty cool when it comes around. So, All right, I'm not going to make you guys stick around with me anymore. We talked a little bit, but I will come back when my pockets are full, and we will mine my diamonds and, I guess, redstone. See you guys in a bit. So guys, I found a mob spawner. Pretty intense. Go away. Go away. You too. See if we can get in there. I don't think it's uh, bad spiders. Probably. Okay. Just normal spiders. 
I don't think it's attached to anything. I'm already done mining. I'm, I'm just working on my way home. I found a cave and I've been exploring it. Let's see here. Golden apple, redstone. Ah, crap. I don't need the golden apple. It's not like I get involved in too much combat. All right, I can put that away because it's basically useless. Take the name tag. And I want this horse armor. Huh. Yeah. Well, not like it was going to make it much longer anyway. Those don't stack. Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy. Let's put that away. All right. I left a bunch of my tools. All right. I found that, and I'm working on heading home. I found this big cave. I explored it. I don't think I got anything useful from it. I also saw a mine shaft up above. But I think I have decided not to go visit it because it would waste time. And I'm pretty sure I've visited, visited it already unless it's a whole other one. In which case I regret everything. But I'm sad to inform you that I don't really regret it. Alright, so I'll see you guys back at the surface of this world. I'm in a dead end. Okay. Alright guys, so here's what all I have from this trip. There's a pile over there and a pile over here. And let's go ahead and start off with the coal, of course. Uh, should be a lot of stuff. Probably more coal than I can hold in my pockets. Hopefully. That would be... Um, more or less what we want. Not even more or less. That's definitely what we want at this point. Because we will need lots of coal. The coal that I um, used on my fortune pickaxe before I decided to switch to Silk Touch... Is still in my pocket, so you'll be able to see everything I've gotten from this mining trip. Okay, is that all? The, oh, it's already it's adding to. I had one in my pocket and it was adding to that. So I'll show you what all I've gotten after I mine all of this stuff. Let's go ahead and switch to the redstone. There's more coal over there, though. I built something, but I didn't make it nearly big enough to contain all the redstone and uh, coal. Would have taken too much time. <laughs> Felt like a waste of time to do such a thing. I think, anyway. Alright, so we're going to mine all this stuff, and then we'll go over to the nether. And I think I'm actually going to go farther away than I did put us last time. The quartz doesn't matter so much, the glowstone does. And I think I'm going to go to where the mesa is at. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and mine this layer all around. Go away, zombie. Nobody likes you here. Whoops. Oh, there's diamonds. Look at that. Go away. It's a zombie. I need to uh, fix my pickaxe before we go, too. Although, if I get up to 30 levels, I might just enchant something else. I do want a looting 3 sword. And that would be good. That would be very, very good. Oh. Whoops. Oh, you see what I got? That's it. I forgot to use my fortune. That's so stupid. Oh well. Alright. Am I good on that? Okay. Go, 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 go. Alright, lots of stuff. We got tons of stuff from mining. It was a good mining trip if I've ever seen one. If I was rich, I would say we could do a giveaway. If you know, if you tell me how much gold, diamonds, and redstone I get, I would give you away something. But. I'm not rich, and I don't have enough viewers for that to matter. I would be willing... I'm not poor, alright? I get the impression that I'm really poor. I am a college student, and my money is valuable. But I do have a little bit of money. And if enough people watched, I would maybe do giveaways for stuff like this. Small giveaways, like $5, $10 giveaways. But I would be willing to do that if people showed up. Like, if I had enough people viewing. And our viewers are going up and stuff, so... Not too worried, and I get lots of subscribers, and my Twitch account is doing very well, so we'll see. Um, Alright, so let's see what we got. 54 diamonds, tons of redstone, and a bit of coal. Not more coal than I actually got. Oh, well, I took a bunch of coal out of here, so this, these coal blocks are also from those lines of coal there, so it's not very accurate. I should have shown, I thought about that after I combined them, that I probably should have showed you guys before I combine them to show you how much coal blocks I got, but I really am not getting that many coal blocks, which is somewhat depressing. 
I'm only going to be slightly over a stack and a half at this point. I have gold in here, and I might as well use I used all the charcoal to melt it. And so there we go, we got that. And what is in here? Let's grab that iron real quick and turn it into blocks. Oops. Then let's grab the diamonds. Okay, probably didn't need to do that. Turn them into blocks. Boom, we got more diamonds again. We got a good amount of diamonds now, guys. We are looking pretty. And we got some gold that's melting down, and I'll add it in there later. And let's go ahead and combine these. I don't think I have nine, so that was stupid. Oh, well. Oh, so close. Oh, that's not going to work. Gosh darn it, that was the worst way to possibly do that. Jeez. Alright, and there is redstone. And then we have, of course, armor, which I think I've actually been putting in here. And I'll put the tags in there. We will be ready for a horse barn when it comes around, guys. We have found lots of chests. We have lots of saddles and a good amount of armor. We now have two different types. I can even make the royal... I like the gold armor the most on the horses, though, so that would be the royal horse... Um, let's take this and put it there. I think that's it. All right, let's go fix the old. Oh, hello! Don't take my levels, please. Okay, you're dead. All right. Um. Oh wait, I was supposed to have a sword out here. I was keeping a sword out here so that when I uh, died or anything like that, I could check to see if there was a looting three enchantment available, which is what I want to be doing still. Okay, go away. Looting two. Hmm. Now I don't know if repairing will mess that up. I hope it won't. But I guess we'll find out. Repairing is more expensive than enchanting. That sucks. Look at all these like strong zombies coming after me. I know the longer you stay in the area, the more serious apparently the enemies get, but I don't like that. Alright, so three just barely fixes it, so let's go ahead and do it. Of course, we're not going to take this out with us this time. Now, did that change my enchantments? It did not. So we have looting two available. We will get that looting two. I don't know if it changes depending on the sword type you're using, actually. We should go check that out. Let's make a diamond sword real quick. I don't think it does, and that's why I've been doing it the way I have with just an iron sword. But it doesn't really matter. Alright. Let's see. Yes, okay, so it stays the same with no matter what type of sword it is. So there you go. We'll leave that in there and we'll go get some glowstone. And that'll be that'll be today's episode. And then tomorrow I say tomorrow, but it won't be tomorrow, it'll be like three days from now. Um we will be working on our home some more. I'm gonna go back to the home project. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't know what I want to do next. And that's why I need to take some time to think about it. I mean, it all has to happen. But there's certain things that I want to happen first for some reason. You know, that I want to start on first. But it doesn't really matter because I could start everything right now. But everything's going to require more snow. So if you think we're done with the snow, you're like, you should tear down the snow machines now. No, we're not done with the snow yet, actually. So the snow, um, we still need it. Uh, cause the rest of the exterior is going to be made out of snow as well, so. I'm going to look for some wither skeletons real quick. I don't see any. I need a looting sword so that if I see them, I can actually get stuff from them, but whatever. Alright, there's glowstone, but I don't want that glowstone. I want to go way over in yonder. Maybe while we're over here, I'll go show you just how much of the mess I've destroyed. By the looks of the mess, if we ever decide that in a later home on this file, we want to build in the Mesa, it won't be this Mesa. <laughs> uh, just because I've taken out a large chunk of stuff like in the middle. The brown clay was easy to get the, because the brown clay is like at the surface. So I just went up to the top in an area and I tr uh, knocked out tons of brown. Um, and dang it, I want to show you guys, but it's so freaking far away. Um, Alright, I'll see you there. Alright guys, so... Here's an Enderman I'm about to kill. Come here. I want to 
want another ender chest. Because I recently broke the one at home and it shattered into obsidian because I forgot you needed silk touch pickaxe for it. I used it to store clay so I wouldn't die and lose all my clay in one trip. I had one here and I had one at the other end. Man, he's straight up left. Well, here's all the clay I dug out. There's more. Um, this is all the white and light gray. There's a little bit more over there, I think. And then there's over here a surprisingly large amount. Oh, and then I ended up going just down this line to get some because I mainly needed... I ended up having thinking I would have way more gray than white, so I started just mining white, but then it ended up I ran out of gray, and I had to come back and just mine gray. <laughs> then up top I mined a bunch of brown. But it, you won't even be able to tell because um, it's on the surface. So it won't look different unless you saw it before. You guys might have seen it before. And then there's also some brown like in there, but see, you see that brown on the surface? Like, that's the stuff I would get. But I did it over here. So you won't see any, very much brown at all over there. But it's a journey to get up there. I'm not willing to take it. Not right now, anyway. Okay, there's no ender. That enderman I was hitting, I wanted to get his, his pearl. I don't see many out by um, by me. You know what? Yeah, let's just go back. and uh, Not back home, but back to before we come out in this tunnel. It is a long journey, though. It is a long journey. Alright, guys, so I actually found this other nether fortress. We were aware of several nether fortresses in the area. I don't know that you guys were. I know when we went looking for the ice place, we found... Uh, three, maybe? And they were like, there was a lot in like the vicinity of just our home, so. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I was building over to somewhere. Well, like, I was walking far away, and I, and I saw it. And uh, I know I've seen it before, so it's not a big deal. Dang it. How do you get out here? I know this was not underground. No, it must have been, because... I'll show you where I came from. If I can find it. Doesn't seem like there's anything in here, literally. It's like an empty nether fortress. There's one blaze when I came in, I killed him quite quick. Alright, more people at the door. Don't know what the heck is going on around here. Okay, never mind, we're gonna go look more. Nope, see there's nothing. Nothing in here. Crazy. There's chess. You went there. There's a gas. I think this is where I came in at. Let's see here. Nope. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. See the light. Mm-hmm. Right there, that's where I was heading. Okay, alright, all right, then we can just come out over here. There we go. Much easier. Alright, so I'm going to continue getting my glowstone. I haven't gotten hardly any, but it's okay. Why don't you die, guest? Before you kill me. Okay, how about you don't fail jumping up some blocks? Golly. Getting some other blocks, some nether rack, nether brick, nothing useful. Might use them eventually, who knows. I'll have to make another room in our house, so. Die. Oh boy. Of course, I was right by him, not hitting him at all. Uh oh. Alright, that's enough of that. Don't care anymore. Alright, I'm going to get glowstone. There's some down there. It looks readily accessible. Into the portal we go. Okay, and so next episode, either I'll work on outlining some places for stuff at my home, or I'll do the blazes. I'm not sure what sounds more fun right now. They both sound fun. Both sound fun. They both sound like good ideas, at least. The blaze farm would be something good to have before I go seriously um, hunting for, uh, you know what I'm talking about, wither skeletons, that would be a good idea. Okay, so we got more armor, more sa all of our horses will be saddled, saddled and armored, jeez. And we got diamonds, 
what a successful nether trip, guys. Wow, we did a lot. We even got 30 levels. We got everything we could hope for and love for. It. All that stuff is still here. All right, let's get our... Oh, look, it's not even going to be 30 levels, is it? Looting 2. Oh. Well, let's try and see what we'll get for this. Maybe it'll be looting 3. No, it's not. But it's looting 2 for less levels, which seems dinky. But you know what? I should go for that, actually. Because that will be better. Looting 3. Looting 2, I mean. Sharpness 3, looting 2, knockback 2. I don't like knockback being on there, but I guess it could be useful. It means lots of the wither skeletons will end up getting fall damage. They're dying from fall damage instead of my sword, which means I think I won't always get um, the the enchant, or like I won't get the multiplier factor. I don't know if it works like that or not. I'm not completely sure. Let's grab some more books and see if I can get something else. Alright guys, so I had to make one more run to the nether for a few more levels. Um, <laughs> it was a long time. Look at all these books I made. Um, I always just took the best offer I could find in the table. But, do not fear. We have Oh no. What the heck? Does going to a different dimension change your enchantments? Because that's what I'm starting to think. Okay, I had a looting one in here. Which is going to help me get to looting three. Wait, maybe it was with the sword. Maybe it was with the sword. Sword. Oh, there we go. But that's not the one I want. I think there's a cheaper one. Not that it matters that much. There, I can get that one. But not with that sword. I have a looting two sword, and then I have a looting... What? I thought I had a looting one book. F word. <laughs> Are you serious? I thought I got a looting one book. Ugh. Ugh. You get. Well, no matter. I'm gonna make a looting one diamond sword right now. I'm gonna waste a diamond, and then off camera, hopefully, I will find another looting one book, and I will make a looting two sword, and I'll combine them to make a looting three sword. So I have two looting swords right now. One of them will be poo poo. This one. Specifically, ooh, it's got sharpness. It'd be hard to combine them, the more stuff they have on them. Um, you can see I got feather falling, smite, feather falling, unbreaking sharpness power, depth ray sharpness, feather falling. Thought feather falling would be useful, and I'll combine some of these later. Let's see if we get lucky with you guys here. Luck. Luck. Nope. Alright, so that's it for today, guys. Um, next episode, we're either making a blaze farm or we are going to prep for some more of the housework by laying out some of the parameters. All right, that's it. Seize your destiny, strike subscribe. Mm. Seize your destiny, strike subscribe and become a hero today. See ya.